Welcome to the official IBU press conference after the women's sprint here at the final World Cup in Östersund. And here we have the winner with us, Tiril Ekhoff of Norway. Tiril, what an incredible final leg and finish. Um, where did you find so much energy? Well, I was very motivated because I was uh, some few seconds behind Dorotea and I, I, I was a little bit tired, but I knew if I fight good on the last downhill, uh, maybe I could manage to m make it. So um, I was very, very happy when I did it. Entering this competition and knowing that the sprint globe is secured, total globe is secured, and maybe without some pressure, did you enjoy this competition? How, how much fun did you receive? <laughs> well, I was actually a little bit nervous for today as well. So, uh, yeah, still there is a competition and I really want to end this season well because last season was uh, I didn't end so well. So I just wanted to, to s stay in the flow and try to do as many good races as I can. Your seventh uh, win in sprint this season. What does it make so special about this discipline and how was it to hold the small globe which you received today? Well, actually, today is my 200th start in World Cup and that's uh, a lot of races. So today was a little bit big to just, just win on my 200th start of World Cup. And tomorrow is another chance for you to have double um, wins. How will you prepare? Will you um, set up uh, anything or like, will you prepare more mentally or physically? Uh, what will you do? Well, I think everybody's tired now, so I'm just gonna try to uh, relax and eat well and do the recovery stuff and sleep. And then we will be on the start tomorrow. Thank you so much, congratulations. Thank you. Second place with us, Dorotea Virer of Italy. Dorothea, a real uh, Doro shooting show today. Uh, how did you enjoy this competition and how can you evaluate it? Uh, as I think uh, it was a good race. Um, I had really fight uh, on the shooting range, especially at the last in prone and the first in standing. So I really want to make some zero today. And uh, I think it was also OK on the track. Uh, of course, I felt a little tired, especially on the first loop and uh, but otherwise I think it was a good race. And how hard was it for you to wait until a Tiril finishes and did you follow her competition especially the final loop? Uh, honestly I wasn't uh, looking at that because I wasn't sure if I could uh, take the podium today because uh, as I said I didn't felt so good so good on the track today and uh, I was sure there was coming a lot of girls after me because I had just a number six. But uh, finally it went out the second place and I'm really happy with that. How uh, good does it feel to finish really strong uh, today, especially after having a kind of tricky winter? Um, yes, um, I think I feel much better now than in the beginning of the season and I can feel that my body is not anymore so tired and I can push a little bit more uh, harder, especially on the skis. And I think it's really good for the head also that uh, I have a good finish. <laughs> so tomorrow will you push hard on the skis? You will stay just a few seconds uh, behind Tiril. What will be your approach? I think uh, like always in a pool, so it's uh, important to shoot clean and then we will see. I'm not so confident at the shooting at the moment, so uh, we will see what it will come out. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. And third place was at Ingrid Landbart. Landmark Tandreval of Norway. <laughs> uh, Ingrid, um, still very, very strong and stable um, performance from you today. How can you rate it and how did you see your race? Uh, I was uh, actually a bit surprised that it was uh, a podium at the end because uh, like Dorothea, I uh, didn't feel so, so strong in the tracks and I used a lot of time on the shooting range today. So um, I thought it was a good race and a good a starting position for the pursuit, but was really surprised and of course very happy when when it turned out as a podium place. Do you think that uh, medals of the World Championships in Pokluka give you um, some confidence for this kind of performance? Um, well, if you see on the results in Nove Mesto, maybe not, but, uh, but I, I definitely hope and I think uh, um, I, I can, you know, relax the shoulders and I know I've um, uh, I've set some goals for the season and and I managed to get the medal in more 
for, um, uh, more medals in in the uh, world championship than I expected, and I think that uh, now I can just relax and try to do my job and not think that I have to like save the season the last weekend. Talking about the goals, you're still in the fight for the uh, Globe Under 25 with Dinara Arimbekova. Um, what are your thoughts on this and are you still really having this i in your mind? Uh, no, I I just try to focus on doing a good race and Arimbekova, she is in really good shape and had a really good uh, week uh, in Novemesto. So I think it will be really tough to beat her, but uh, yeah, I just have to do my best and uh, focus on every shot and uh, and try to hit as many targets as possible in the pursuit and the mass start. So tomorrow you will focus only on the pursuit for yourself, competition for yourself, but not on the on Dinara being si somewhere behind you. Uh, yes, I think uh, for me it's important to just uh, focus uh, on uh, on myself because I can't uh, do anything with uh, what the others do. And uh, if she hit uh, 20, then she uh, she does a really good race and that's uh, not up to me so i just have to focus on myself thank you so much congratulations and good luck thank you